Shooter, fellow Hollow Table hustlers, you're tuned in to Radio Free Tatooine's Galactic War Report, a Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes podcast that's better than some and worse than others. I'm Sean, aka the other Sean, and sitting across the Hollow Table from me is John, aka the Uncanny Mister H. Welcome back. Thank you for rescuing me from myself. Yes, I'm, I'm rescuing the uh, the listeners from you as mm-hmm. well. Um, the hostage situation. I actually listened to last week's show and I, I, we didn't discuss beforehand. I just said, peace, I'm out. Um, but I, I'm really glad you talked about Piet, uh, giving me a chance to kind of talk about, to be here when we talk more about galactic legends. Yeah. I mean, we didn't really have a lot. Um, and me just yelling about requirements didn't seem particularly interesting. That's why not I'm going to do it tonight. <laughs> not that, well, to myself. At least get the yell yeah, yeah. at me about it. Sure. Yeah, me, me just reading off PS Kit was definitely gripping audio, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The uh, inevitable failure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just such a... Like, like thinking that you're playing a video game and there's something on the line. Maybe it's Grand Arena or, or a, a territory battle or something, but you really need to win this one. And selecting a move called inevitable failure, mm-hmm. just like I got an idea. Let's try some inevitable failure. If I'm just, look, I'm just saying it, it embodies my play style. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's a lot of the not... decisions I made in college could be <laughs> summed up. By... I may not fail now. I may not fail tomorrow, but I will <laughs> fail. It is inevitable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so so we're going to talk about these galactic legends, some of the uh, forecasts, some of the requirements, um, and we're going to talk a little bit about Grand Arena tonight as well, um, and a fun little diversion from all of the drama of this game. There's always so much fan created completely, but there's always, well, not completely, I guess, but there's always so much weighing us down, and we're just going to talk about stupid Zetas mm-hmm. and s- characters that are stupid to Zeta. And I, I, I'm telling you, I'm here for that. John has the list pulled up. I'm not even looking at it. We're just going to plow into it later. Um, there are some dumb ones. Not there are some really dumb ones. Um. So before we get into all that, let's take a look at upcoming in-game events, courtesy of SWGOHEvents.com. For a list of past, present, and future events in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, there's no better resource on the web than SWGOHEvents.com. Now, as we release this on the 4th of September, we've got a contraband cargo. As far as those recurring events like this like a a credit heist and Mm -hmm. training droid party um i feel like this is the one that actually gives me something useful so you might feel that way because i can't sim it (laughs) that's also true (laughs) um but but i i like me some contraband cargo um hoth omega battle on the fifth as well as a new territory war number 137 is starting on the fifth on the 6th, we get Military Might. I love that. Uh, the 7th brings us another Grand Arena, Week 3 of Season 10, um, as well as a Training Droid Smuggling. Yay! General's Command drops on the 8th. That's your finalizer uh, blueprints. Awesome. And um, on the 9th, We'll get another territory war, as those are always back to back, and a Jakku Omega battle. On the, I feel like they could just at this point in the game. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. They got highly regulated um, economies, 
right? Where they can only kind of give out so much of this gear and like they're, sure. they're, that's a, a thing they balance. I was just thinking at this point, like Omega battles, just have them go every day. Yeah, no, an Omega every day for people like you who are bad at rationing their Omegas. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. I've got plenty of Omegas right now. How many? Over a hundred. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. impressive. You, it's have... so impressive I turned Owen Wilson for a minute. <laughs> you really did. Um, I have 107. Oof. Yeah. I should I should go spend some. Yeah, you better. <laughs> ah. You can't take them with you. No, you can't. <laughs> Piet, I'm coming for you, buddy. Uh, and then, okay, on the 10th, we have Galactic Bounties 1, which is some free shards for anyone with some dope bounty hunters. That's the one that I could get Fulcrum with, right? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I still need to get her shards, so I'll, I'll get around to that. Yeah. Yep. Either way, it's, it's 100... Uh, I think one is fulcrum, yeah. Twenty shards or whatever you want. So yeah. Um. Now, other things that could be popping up soon. I know you've heard us talk about it. It's been online. Lots of speculation. Your grandma has probably called you asking about it. Mm-hmm. Clash on Camino. The General Skywalker event. Last yeah. seen ninety. Two days ago, Graham Graham called me up and said, "John, I need that gas. Where's he at?" Yeah, Grandma, you've got gas. What? I said, "Nana, I can't. I don't know what to tell you." <laughs> um, ninety-one, or uh, I'm sorry, ninety-two days ago. Oof, that's got to be coming soon. I, it, hmm. You know, the funny thing is, like, I, I there's so many things in this game where it has to be patterned out at a certain point, right? Mm-hmm. Um, at this point, so many people have General Skywalker. Nothing's waiting on General Skywalker. They can just flip a switch and turn it on. They're just, just making flip you wait. the switch! They're making you wait for the fun of it's it. It's for me. Those They're... sadists over at Capital Games are just watching you squirm like a worm There's on a hook. Five or six of them just hunched around the one laptop, and they're just watching my roster not have General Skywalker. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They're, they're, they're moving the trackpad around like a, like a witch's cauldron. Just let's, uh, let's launch another Grand Arena before we do this, just so he has to lock his roster. Let's make a Camino Omega battle. <laughs> <laughs> He'll log in. The look on his face, it'll be priceless. Um, and then Luke, uh, the Jedi Luke event last seen 78 days ago so that's probably due pretty stinking soon too if i had to guess with that one at least because they know they want to release have a, a luke skywalker right before the galactic legend launches right for jedi master luke oh god you'd have to imagine right so at this point, they're probably waiting to have one now and then one right before launch. Mm. Well, give me just either one right now. I'm so not... if we're going by the same pattern of when they announce it versus when they release them, mm-hmm. uh, you know, it was about four months. So, you know, should be any day now. Mm-hmm. <sighs> so we'll be keeping you posted. On those, well, you just yawn, John. <laughs> I hid mine fairly well. I thought, why you gonna do that to me? Uh, it's what happens when we record after midnight. Um, if you ever think like John and Sean sound like they're just incredibly tired people, we you're are, not, yeah, you're not wrong, <laughs> <laughs> just in general, we are, but yeah, we record very late. So. Um, so Clash on Camino and and Luke's uh, hero's journey have got to be coming soon. Just got to be. Um, so I, I want to take a moment before we get into the Galactic Legends too much, because it's kind of related, um, that uh, uh, one of our <clears throat> one of our listeners asked me, um, like how I feel about 
the state of the game. And I think it's a, it's a fair question, particularly because we're on the cusp of these new galactic legends. Um, and we just had some new content release. Now, the last time those two stars lined up, I quit the game. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and, and part of my reasoning for leaving the game was that the requirements for the Galactic Legend just seemed like Capital Games was asking too much of the players. Just too much. And I still feel like those are a bit much as someone who just now finished Ray's Ultimate and is is nowhere even near considering Kylo. So th- that's still a very, very big commitment. And that's fine. I've come to terms with it, obviously. But uh, the new content back then was the Clone Parade, which I still stand by. That is a broken mode. I, I don't enjoy that. When I came back to the game, I did not come back singing the praises of the Clone Parade. Were you singing the Clone Braid song, though? I probably was. <laughs> um, and all those filthy geos. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, so, anyways, now we have this new content, Galactic Challenges, which has not been the most popular release, let's say. And more Galactic Legends, which are even more demanding this time around, as they require 15 characters instead of 13. So how do I feel about it? How do you feel about it? And I feel like that's a fair question. Um, I, I, I feel fine. And so <laughs> that's my answer. Uh, I mean, I, I, you know, I galactic challenges. I think, and I've kind of summarized this before, but like, I feel like people wanted it to be this savior you know like this big huge thing and i just i literally wanted what we got that's basically what i was looking for out of it i was not expecting something bigger i i do wish the i mean all the big criticisms of it i think are valid i wish the rewards were better definitely i think some of the reward structure just doesn't even make sense where you're getting karth shards because you have 12 Gear 12, uh, Old Republic characters, you know. At which point you have Karth chart. Right, and I may have the tier off on that. But, you know, I mean, like, some of those are just, like, why... You know, some gave out Rebel Y-Wing blueprints, and I feel like that is a perfect kind of reward for this. Mm -hmm. Or TIE Bomber blueprints. That's also perfect. Grief Karga shards. That was really good. Even, Even if they threw just a couple of crystals at you, right? Like... It's it's spend it where you want. Yeah. Twenty five crystals, yeah. right? And like, okay. Thanks. It's crystals. Um so crystals. and that's all stuff that can be fixed though, right? Like reward structures, that stuff that's easily fixed. So you know, my initial thought when I first logged in and played was like, Yeah, it's not perfect, but this'll work. Like you know, six months from now when I'm playing this. I, I feel like this will be fine. Um, and right. that's, that's how this game runs. But anyways, um, and the Galactic Legends, yes, there are more requirements. However, I'm going to also point out that now, A, the game's just been going longer, so we have more stuff relic sure. most of us, you know. Um, and then B... When they first came out, like, we've got, for me, I'm going to go for Luke, right? Because the requirements, we have uh, 3PO and Chewie, which is a brand new character, which that's going to be the equivalent of the Resistance Heroes, that they were brand new characters that you got to grind, grind, grind. And Mon Mothma is, is the other two. So we've got two brand new characters. Cool. That's looking over... What else has been released lately? I mean, unless they do another brand new character, I, there, there's only two that are going to be hard grinds. The rest of them are all old characters that we either have or are close to earning because they were last seen 78 days ago. <laughs> um, 
but yeah, I feel like it's it's tempered more now because there's we have stronger rosters, and when they release these, I already have two of them done. Um, whereas last time around, a week after release, did I have any of them done? No, 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 no. So I'm not too worried about the the bigger requirements. I think I'll be fine. And I think you're going to be in a similar boat. You're going for Palpatine, right? Yeah, and like I needed a, a Relic 7 Palpatine, obviously. I already had that. Got it, yeah. Right, so there's, you know, I'm in good shape. I'm mm-hmm. in good shape. Yeah. So I want to talk about some of the requirements here, too. Um, what we know so far is yeah. uh, the... Relic 7 Palpatine. On the light side, you need a Relic 7 um, Jedi Training Ray, uh, which I have. And then Relic 5 3PO, which I bumped him up to 5. He was at 3. 3 to 5 is not too not too much work. Yeah, it's not bad. <clears throat> not uh, Yeah, in the, in the scheme of a galactic legend, that's nothing. Um... And then old Ben, Mon Mothma, and uh, have we ever agreed on our official? Is it are we going with three pack or backpack? Two PO or backpack? backpack. Okay, <laughs> Just, yeah, backpack. He's got a theme song. Backpack. What were the ones for uh, Super Sheev? Super Sheev. R seven Vader. It's R five Krennic. Yeah, let me pull them up. I think I have. Yeah, I have it right here. Nope, that's not the requirements. That's the follow-up to it. Uh, Sith Eterno. There we go. Um, yeah, it is 7 Vader. I thought it was 5 Vader, but yeah. Uh, Royal three, Royal Guard 3, Piet 5, and Krennic 4. That's a weird one. Yeah. Hmm. Right. Yeah, so I mean, we're we're doing okay where the requirements are now, you know, mm-hmm. as far as things go. Now but you we, are hmm. probably going to have another character released. I would to have grind. to imagine, but it's going to have to be on an even more abbreviated schedule, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you look at like Piet was announced as this was announced, you know, so. Yeah. As they roll it out, one of the later requirements may be another brand. They'd have to announce it pretty soon. Yeah. Or it could be a light side character. No? I don't know. I can't think of anything that makes sense for Vader at the moment. I can't either. Unless it was something like, uh, no? I guess it could be like Jedi Anakin or something where, like, if they're going back in time. But I have to imagine the event will be mostly end of Return of the Jedi kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Somebody, I think I mentioned last week, suggested that I would need a uh, Jedi Knight Luke, and I got so mad I punched my phone. It could happen. Yeah. All they've ruled out, they said you would not need a Galactic Legend to unlock R- a Galactic right. Legend. And they've been very clear that he's not a Galactic Legend. Yeah. Um, And here's the weird thing, too. It's like, how much of a hurry am I in? Because... It won't improve my arena team. I mean, like I should say, I can't combine them to make my arena team better, right? Because you can only have one on a team. So unless Palpatine is significantly better or a specific counter to different teams, Mm -hmm. it's not going to help my arena. So I guess maybe it'll help more in territory battle because I can use Empire. Although I don't even know what synergy he's going to have, right? Super Sheev might not have Empire synergy. No. Might just be Sith. So I don't know. I mean, I'm going to do it because I want it. What's going to just be the absolute worst is if his best synergy is with Darth Revan, Darth Malak, you know, that posse. You know how mad I'll be if that happens. It's going to be the worst. Okay, I'll just start the Malak grind. Yeah. The one I intentionally skipped. Mm-hmm. The rest of the world will be psyched. I already have those characters. Mm-hmm. 
Talk about Sith Eternal. That's Malik. Yeah. His his presence grind, in the meta. Be a grind eternal. Mm-hmm. So what do we, what do you think is coming up? Like who who else do you think they're gonna release for for Luke? So I have I have some thoughts. One is you think about uh the characters that were needed for the last batch of Galactic Legends. You needed um Every Ray and every Kylo, which at that point was only two. So you needed both Rays at Relic 7 or both Kylos at Relic 7. So I think there's a really good chance Sidious at Relic 7 is going to be a thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that. That's just seems like a shoe in. I think there's a really good chance that every Luke is three Lukes. You might need all three of those Lukes. So that's a lot. That's a lot of Lukes. So many Lukes. Um, so I think Jedi Luke is. Uh, I could see him being needed for either or both, honestly. Because <clears throat> yeah. that's like a real hard gate too, and you know they love those big gates. Um, I'm trying to think of something equivalent for Sheev, and I, I can't. I think when they eventually, who knows when, get around to making a Galactic Legend Vader, that's going to be a, a lot of Anakin's. Yeah. It's just Anakin's all the way down. <laughs> it is. It is. Um, uh, let's see. So so those those make sense to me as, as probably Relic 7 characters. Um, yeah. And that would actually track with a Relic 7 Vader. If you've mm-hmm. got a Relic 7 Vader and two Palpatines, that's kind of equal to having three Relic 7 Lukes. Yes and no, but... Um, so you've got that. Now, the other things to think about are new characters, right? So like right. Piet, Mon Mothma, um, and... Backpack. And Backpack. Thank you. Backpack. Struggle with that. I'll, I'll get there. Um, they all were recently released, and you know they're going to do that. So, So that's a possibility, but then I'm thinking story wise, who got Luke from where he was in return of the Jedi to where he is in the last Jedi. Mm -hmm. So you've got some of these that kind of make sense. You've got like Jedi training Ray totally makes sense. That would be, she might make a relic three kind of one, you know? Well, she's already, she's the relic seven. Well, they need her at seven. Yeah, light siders. Which okay, is silly because she was relic seven for Ray. Also, well, you, you get the I get a freebie. You get a freebie. That yeah. makes sense. Um, I feel like her and Chewie would make sense. I know they've got backpack, but well, she but brought Chewie, Chewie. Right, but to that's Octo. more the Chewie you needed for just Ray as well. Right. So they story wise, veteran smuggler Chewie would make a lot of sense. Um. I think R2 is almost certainly going to be one. It'd have to be. Which, it's not that bad because it's a good character that a lot of people have and use. But um, not a super popular Relic 5, you know. Um, They're out there, for sure. But it'd be a little bit of work for people. So, that's sort of sensible. I wonder about Kylo being needed. Because of his, like trying to kill him or yeah. considering killing him. I okay. would not be shocked if a Kylo were needed. Um, I think Akbar makes sense because in no one has a relic way. Akbar. Sure. And he was in Return of the Jedi. So was Wicked. Uh, that's getting me to my next point. I think Paplu makes sense. Because he's an Ewok, and Ewoks are pretty bad. And that's the Ewok that messes with Luke's bike. I'm thinking along the lines of a hero's journey, because this is not a hero's journey. This is galactic legend, but it's still kind of the characters they throw at it have something to do with the character. Okay. And... They're not going to pick, like, the super popular choice where everyone's already going to have them, you know? Gamorrean Guard being the obvious choice. Gamorrean Guard. 
I think Gamorrean Guard is very possible. I think Vader's possible um, for Luke. But um, I am... Uh, there's been people joking about it. I think Gamorrean Guard is actually a decent... What's your Gamorrean Guard at? Pick. Oh, he ain't good. Let me see. Let's go <clears throat> directly to the bottom of my roster because that's where I'll find him <laughs> most quickly, I think. Whoo! He is... He's seven stars, but he's gear seven. Okay. You got all the Omegas on him, I assume? No, I don't. I'm going to slap him on there right now. I got so many Omegas. Do it. Yeah, blow them all on Gamorrean Guard. Gam Guard. Here it is. This is your big day. You're getting your Zetas. Or your Omegas. Wow. Zetas. Mm. I don't want to take him to gear 8 because he wants a Carbanti. And they're just... Well, some of us already took him to gear 8 probably four years ago. <laughs> He's still so bad. <laughs> His moves, hack and slash, muscle in, and punch through. I mean... All grace, I, that one. They look okay. So, anyways, um, what are we going to need? We don't know, right? But but those are... I, I can't get my head away from Gamorrean Guard. I, I just... I think that's a real thing. The question is, what am I going to need for Super Sheep? Super cheap. Well, like I said, uh, Krennic is a weird choice. Happening. Honestly, Krennic is a, a weird choice. Considering he's dead mm-hmm. before a new. He hope. already choked on his ambitions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like years before the emperor, you know, kind of died the first time. Yeah. So it could be real... one of those weird Sith, like a Marauder or something. See, that's what I hear. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if the new dark side character is like a Sith cultist. Yeah. Because they have those piles of cultists in the background. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they don't have, they don't really have anybody to fill that kind of like complete groveling garbage need. God, what a boring character to play. Who knows? It could be something cool. Like uh, sacrifices his health to keep the prop up the emperor. I mean, yeah. who knows? Um, Gameplay wise, he could be fun, but just not a exciting pick. Well, no, but. I don't know. I expect one of them to be faceless, right? Piet isn't. I mean, there's any number of rando Imperials you could pick. Mm-hmm. But I think a Sith cultist or something along those lines I think could be cool. It would totally make sense. And I know it is a requirement for Kylo, but Sith Trooper should be, absolutely he, should be there. Yeah, 100%. But he, I, don't, I mean, look, I'm, I'm game with him. Mine's a Relic 6. Yeah. So, you know, Bring him on, but what was he required? Five, five? four, yeah. three. I don't know. I, 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 I like him as a character, so I started putting work into him until I found something shiny. He's a beast. He's a good character. I like him. Just he no no one character makes me more upset in arena than him. <laughs> You're like he cleansed and then hit me, mm-hmm. cool. and three people died. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Mine doesn't do that. Hmm. He does some damage, but not like that. Especially not against Ray teams. Mm. He's jerks. I can't, I can't anybody else interesting that the new characters aside, right? Like, I mean, you got Vader, Royal Guard, obvious choices. Mm-hmm. Stormtrooper, definitely, I think, a high contender. Sure, sure. Because who wants um, to relic that? I'm I'm ready and willing, baby. Yeah. It's another Imperial Trooper. Yeah. Um, But, like... Who else? Gar. She... I mean, look, look. <laughs> you want to talk about dream scenarios? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I I think the likelihood of a new Empire character is certainly there. It's it's possible. I mean, we just got two light side marquees. We got one dark side, so. That's been, they, they could pick anybody. They, what's the name of that that uh, first order admiral who like goes all in during the Rise of Skywalker? 
Um, that guy, the one who kills Hawks. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember his name. Like they can release that guy. And, yeah. I mean, for all we know, they're gonna release a new, you know, Final Empire. Snow. Snoke would make sense. I had not considered Snoke. Yeah. That'd be fun. And, you know, like a couple years ago, we would have thought Snoke has to be this big legendary thing. No, uh, he can be a marquee. He's a chump. (gasps) Maybe we'll finally get those, uh, the guards. What were they called? The Praetorian Guard. Oh, my. That'd be, I I just love the characters. Yeah. That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. Unlikely. But cool, yeah. But you just figure they're going to have a light side character in there somewhere, right? Like maybe. Um, I mean, that's the thing with uh, the last set. You had one light side character needed for Kylo that we didn't do anything with, which is still right ma- maddening. But you didn't have any dark side characters needed for Ray. Yeah, I mean it's true. They just split the vet smugglers. You so. did need to have Holdo, though, so. That's true. That's true. Hey, I still use Holdo. She gets she gets plenty of uh, plenty of game time. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> the mysteries. I just want them to tell me more so I can know where to go, but. I'm like I'm betting on Sidious, right? Like I, I'm, I'm. I'd be stunned if you don't need Sidious. Yeah, I got him in my favorites. I'm waiting until I, I finish gearing up Krennic and Royal Guard, and then I'm gonna push hard he's, on that. He's the only other actual Sheev, right? And he's a character that a lot of people have, but no one relics him because why? You know, so we're gonna have three Sheaves pretty soon. I like that. Yeah. I'll just game the three Sheev Monty. Whole, whole bucket full of sheaves. Yeah. I like so, it. I wouldn't. That'd, that'd be fun. Like he, he's still got one of the coolest looking abilities in the game. I think. Oh yeah, Sidious. Yeah, especially Absolutely. if you play it back when we would play it on One X. Like mm-hmm. that looked so cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it still still looks great. Um, when all of my night sisters get leveled by him on Challenge Tier One, it is. Very satisfying. That's routine. Um, so, yeah, there's there's plenty that could happen there. Look, I think I think Luke is easier to predict than than Emperor. Well, he has a ton more screen time, right? I mean, yeah, Palpatine didn't really exist until Return of the Jedi. Mm-hmm. Like, and his role in Rise of Skywalker. In the whole sequel trilogy is pretty short overall. Oh yeah, that's gonna be, I need a Fortnite character probably to unlock him. What? A Fortnite character? You don't remember that the event they had where he that whole the dead speak thing was from Fortnite? No. You don't remember that? Uh uh-uh. uh. Like two days before Rise of Skywalker came out, like in a Fortnite event where Palpatine had a message that read out in the game. And that's huh. where in the, the movie they say Pal- Palpatine's voice has been heard. They were, tra- they were referencing Fortnite. Are you kidding me? Not in the slightest. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah. Let and I, I, I even played around that time. Like, I bought all the uh, yeah. Star Wars skins because you know, yeah, how often does that come around? Wow. So... To lighten things up a little bit here. Mm-hmm. Not that it's been particularly heavy, but I am looking at page eight on SWH.gg. This is the final page of the Zeta report. Oh, yes. Yes. Here we go. Yes. I have some information that I find interesting. Uh, first off, there are one, 109 million Zetas that they have seen. From 109 the, from million. Okay. Million. But that's, that's the number of Zetas they have seen. Mm-hmm. The last place person is Bodhi Rook with 566 out of 109 Five, million. 566 500. maniacs. Out Here's there. the thing of all the gear 11 or better Bodhi's yeah. out there, which who knows that. 
not even 20 percent like you're sitting there with a gear 12 boat and you're like ah nah, i'm good the yeah. next highest we got we got kiati mundi right nobody has kiati mundi right he's just a he's just an idea at this point he has twice as many zetas as as bodhi <laughs> nobody has kiati mundi oh bodhi admiral piet barely exists and has four times as many zetas <laughs> He was born with half as many Zetas, and yeah. now he has so, four times. Wow. There are, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There are 13 people on this page. Mm-hmm. I have selected the least desirable of all of them. Mm. You have to put one on your in, into the arena now, and you have to pick one of these people. Oh, God. Bend your head. You ready? I want yeah. you to listen to all the options before you choose. Okay. Bodhi is, of course, on this list. Uh-huh. Young Lando. Okay. Clone War Chewie. Oh, uh, okay. Gar Saxon. Uh. Stormtrooper. Uh-huh. And Rose Tico. Wow. Wow. One That's of those has rough. to go in your arena team today. I think I'm going to go with Clone Wars Chewie. Okay. Because he can slot into a Padme team. Okay. He's not ideal, but he can exist on a Padme team. Okay. That's interesting. So you, you in order to make this work, you switch back to a Padme team and put Clone War Chewie in. I'd rather do that than throw Stormtrooper into yeah. Arena and see what happens. Yeah. I, I don't know what I would do. I don't know. You, you know what? On second thought, I'd just run my Galactic Legend Ray and put some stupid character in there. And, just and I've still got a great four, you know? Yeah, that's true. Mm. It's true. It's I, true. I don't know what I think. I mean, Stormtrooper or Gar Saxon, obviously, because I got so much Empire stuff. Yeah, yeah. But Empire is so bad. It's so bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the, that's the, 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 of those, there are still a couple of good characters on this last page, right? Like, there's both Jedi Lukes, just because there's not a ton of Jedi Lukes out there. Oh, yeah. Uh, Cara Dune, which I was a little shocked by. Um, yeah. She's only got 3,000 total Zetas. Especially with uh, Mon Mothma coming out. That I think people just haven't gotten her to seven stars yet, so maybe that's why they're reluctant. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, her Zeta's not mandatory for that team by any means, but. You know. If she has potency up when she's defeated, she's revived. That's a good. That's a good Zeta. Yeah, but it's it's not the the heart and soul of that team. That's mm, Pow's no. Zeta. Yeah, only one point six of all Cardoons have the Zeta. Hmm. Um, I mean, I'm one, one of them. One point six percent of all Cardoons have the okay. Zeta. Yeah, I'm I'm one too. We're part of the one percent, Sean. Yes, finally. Been working my it's whole funny. life for this. It's just funny because in comparison to the Jedi Luke ones, 98 and 95% of all Jedi Luke characters. Yeah. If you do Zetas. that work, yeah. you got the Zetas. Or you yep. get them. Bodhi Rook has so few Zetas that he doesn't register even up to the hundredths of the percentage of Zetas. Oh my. Bodhi. Kiati Mundi is 0.01%. I feel like every time we talk about Bodhi, I'm like, he has a Zeta? Oh, yeah. And I... It's very bad. There's like a minor chance that someone might get offense up or something like that. A random person. Yeah. Is it offense up? That's the... Yeah. At the end of each of his turns, Bodhi grants offense up for two turns to a random ally who doesn't have it. Boy. <laughs> hmm. Mm-hmm. Pow is also surprisingly low. He's on this last page. Hmm. Um... I suspect that'll go up as Mon Mothma stuff starts to trickle in. Yeah. Well, also people going for, you know, Mon Mothma is a neat little team, whatever. It's not a world breaker team, but if you need Mon Mothma at Relic 5 for Luke, people are going to try and get some use out of that, I would think, yeah. you know, and, and giving power Zeta is a great way to get use out of it. Should I Zeta my Stormtrooper? No. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it right now. You absolutely should not say to your stormtrooper. I'm gonna do it right now. 
Oh. I'm mm. calling the police. <laughs> They're on their way. <laughs> um, my stormtrooper is uh, at gear 12. Mm. You know, Sean, I talk a big game. I'm sitting here trying to bring myself to push this button, and I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> I did Gamorrean guard. You put omegas. <laughs> You did it! Oh. I did it! I did it! You can't stop me, Sean. Oh! You can only hope to contain me. Wow! Such is the will of the Empire. Oh, that's... You wait till he, when you get his rework. You'll, you will see who's who's eating those words. <laughs> <sighs> Regrettably, this means that of the thirteen on this last page. I now have one, two, three, three of the 13 on this last page. And I'm going to have five once I put, did I already put them on P yet? I don't think I put them on here yet. I'm gonna, but I haven't yet. Oh, well, that one at least makes sense. It's good. There's two of them. <laughs> he has two Zetas. He does. That's They're both right. on that yeah. last page of 13. Yeah. So once I do that, I'll have five of the bottom 13 Zetas. <laughs> Mm. Um. So you know it's madness. Let's see. You don't have any of these. You got you got Kara. I got Kara. You don't have Young Lando. No. I thought you don't have roses. Do you? No. Nope. I came close once, but no. coward. You don't have any of these. I know. Be with the cool kids. I have the to be page. responsible. I just blew all my omegas on Gamorian guard. Yeah. The the next page has much better. Uh, options, as you would imagine. Mm-hmm. And as I look at these, it's funnier too because I'm like, God, I had forgotten these existed, and they still got more than mm-hmm. the other ones. Jeez, like Young Han. I mean, it's a pretty good Zeta as far as scoundrel teams go. Yeah, uh, it's not in demand. No. Wait a minute, Night Sister Initiate has a Zeta. Really? What? <laughs> that can't be right. <laughs> what? She's the sword one that nobody uses, but yeah, yeah, the gray hat. Where are you at? Well, I'll be danged. I mean, uh, and Cara Dune is less popular than her Zeta. Uh, yeah. Huh? By a pretty wide margin, actually. By about half. Um, that's not a bad Zeta as far as things go. I mean, if you're going to use Night Sister Initiate. I mean, I if she has full health, she's doing her. swinging double damage, which is I pretty good. I think I've good. trained my eyes to just not see characters like that because I can't find her. Look for Night Sisters. I, I just don't understand why I'm looking all over the bottom of my roster and I don't see her. Okay, Bodhi. Uh, Listen, Bodhi. Are you listening, Bodhi? Luminara Unduli's leader has 12,700 Zetas. Yours has 500. (laughs) Consider how few that is. What is going on with that? How? Everybody's got Bodhi. He's required for Hoth, right? Because you need to have your, your Rogue One. You don't have to have Bodhi. You Bodhi, Bodhi was like, like the that. GoBots of Rogue One teams. <laughs> and Pow was back then, too. Avengers Assemble. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, he, he's your, your Kroger brand popsicles mom bought when they were, it was a rough week. <laughs> this ain't Kraft three. Mac and Cheese. No, yeah. no, no. He's Kirkland brand. I mean, Kirkland brand's got some stuff. They do. They do. Mm. Anyway, that's me looking at random data on SWH and being that's, amused by it. That is just wonderful. Hey, Quest, do you remember those? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I completed just... a couple back in the day. Did you? Yeah. yeah. I, I think I made that on an accident. I, uh, I, I worked real hard 
to get to a point where now I have to win a match with uh, an arena match with Qui Gon or something. <laughs> mm. <laughs> like, okay. You put them behind your, your uh, ray. You, you'll be fine. I think it has to be like five Jedi or something. Yeah. I don't remember. If only, if only the heir to the Jedi had was a Jedi. I know. I know. All the Jedi are inside you. Huh? <laughs> we figured out where they went. That's the Jedi have been for 25 years. Oh, I didn't realize uh, Luke and, and Sheevster were in the Jedi, uh, uh, Journey Guide yet. Yeah, I mean, they only show those five right. requirements. But... All, right. All right. Well, anyways, that's um, that's all thrilling, but I mean, let's let's cut cut right down to it. We've been talking for forty some minutes now, and we have not talked about who you're granted. We have to a degree, just a little. But um, as far as shards, not really doing a ton until Piet is grindable. Uh, so I did finish Cardoon a while ago, um, and I got her to gear thirteen. And now she's Relic 2, and I'm going to leave her there for now. Um, so right now in my favorites, I got Krennic, Royal Guard, Sidious, and Piet. Piet I'm not doing a whole lot with yet because I'm going to wait. So Krennic is what I'm pushing up. He's at 12.5. Royal Guard's at 12.4. And then Sidious, I think he's still gear 9. So I got a lot Oof. of work to do with him. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, but I got Vader, Relic 7. I got Palpatine, Relic 7. Um, like, I'm in pretty good shape for this first batch of requirements. Mm-hmm. Uh, not a lot of people are probably rolling with the Gear 12 Royal Guard, but this guy was ready to go. <laughs> yeah. Um, I am also, when I have the energy, which has not been a lot since I started these guys, uh, working on my Emperor shuttle, because I think there's a good chance I might need that. Oh, Sure. Uh, and the Tie Bomber, because I want to have more Empire ships. That Tie Bomber is great. Yeah, too. that's what I hear. Let's really see. I got to change my, my most recent Zeta <laughs> was Darth Vader. Now it is Stormtrooper. Oh, boy. Yeah. Woof. It is done. You'll it never make done. a worse decision in this game. Well. I mean. Technically, Darth Saxon actually still has fewer Zetas than Stormtrooper. Yeah. At Wait, least that's over, fun. At least that's I push fun. him over the edge. Maybe I push him over the edge. Stormtrooper, like you don't play a match and think, "Oh yeah, this is really clicking with that Zeta." <sighs> yeah, that a, let me see. Yep, yeah, Stormtrooper. Oh, it's close. There's only a difference of like 115 Zetas, so I'm closing the gap. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, no, I didn't because now I have them both, so I pushed it. <sighs> <laughs> Sean, who are you grinding, bud? Oh, man. I'm trying to grind a few different characters here. I So, first of all, General Skywalker prep. I'm ready on that, right? And I've Good. got a ton of signal data so I can boost someone if I need to for the event. Um, I need 64.6 thousand get, to, uh, get tokens. Um, That's to, too many. Yeah. Uh, so I've got 41.3 thousand of those 64.6. <laughs> I mean, that's not bad. And we're about to finish a territory battle, so I'll get a few thousand more. <sighs> Jedi Luke, I'm ready. I've done all of it. I'm ready. Bring it on, please. Uh, finished Ray's Ultimate. So nice. I'm kinda, I know. I've, put me I'm in a good place. You in, uh, I'm having trouble beating you in Arena. Yeah, I um I learned that I can pretty much just stomp on Kylo teams now. And yeah, when you especially when you're running against and like it's against yeah. the AI. It's 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 definitely a game of chicken between those two teams as to who's gonna pop their ultimate first to get damage immunity for a while. Yeah. Because if you time that badly, uh it's it doesn't look huge. Turn out. Yeah. So so that's that's been nice. Um for shards I'm going after Mando. I've got 61 out of 65. Back to Cara Dune now that I'm done with that ultimate. Uh, 80, uh, 39 out of 85 for her. And my 
BLT. Last wow. time I was on, I was at 82 out of 85, and now I'm at 37 out of 100. So we're moving that along. And I'm really trying to get that done quickly because, like, with all these Galactic Legend requirements and all that, I don't want that to get lost in the shuffle. I'm too too close. My most recent Zeta is still Hermit Yoda, so I'm up to 102 Zeta mats that I'm chilling with, and I need 80 for General Skywalker and 40 for Jedi Luke. So really, 18 more Zetas and I can start spending frivolously again. Just do it, man. I gotta be ready for Sean. Something. I put a Zeta on a Stormtrooper. I need you to 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 rise to my level of also commitment. Be, yeah. Yeah, you'd be, you got to be. I gave you my the Gamer, for more that, guard. That's all I can. All I can muster. Fifteen Omega is the uh, yeah um, the, the depth of your commitment. So, for gear, um, I'm working on a few. I've got three PO and Chewie up to th- tomorrow. They'll be hitting gear eleven. Uh, Mon Mothma's chilling at gear eight. So we got a ways to go there. Um, but I've been trying so hard to get gear for Obi-Wan, old Ben. Mm. And the guy just, there's, it's purple eyeballs or thermal detonators. It's, they're sure, yeah. killing me. I'll go 30 attempts and get zero. It's so it's painful. Been... Um, there's always something. That's been really rough. Uh, I bumped a couple Night Sisters into my favorites as well. I I realized Talia was dangerously close to gear twelve, so okay. push her up to gear twelve. Why not? Uh, and Daka, I want to get her to relics because my Night Sisters are well, they're all right, but relic Daka really really pushes that team. I should get around to it. I mean, I, mine's 12 point something. Yeah, mine is 12.2. So it's some work, but I feel like that's that's going to be a big deal. Um, it'll help me get a challenge tier knocked out for Secrets and Shadows. It'll make it a little more effective defensive team for Grand Arena as, you know, I mean, they're not a monster defense, but you have a relic Daka, they got to throw something at it. Right. Um, and so, you know, that's, that's kind of my side project while I work on, uh, mostly Galactic Legends stuff. That is all we got for you this week. It may not be the best advice, but at least we didn't recommend you do what John just did with his Stormtrooper. Galactic War Report is brought to you by Radio Free Tatooine and by our Patreon supporters. Learn how to become one and get access to our Discord server at patreon.com slash Radio Free Tatooine. As always, big thanks go out to our Sandcrawler level supporters, CT1980, Devin Docterman, John T. Senek Jr., and SWGOH.GG. Don't forget, if you like what you hear, please consider showing your support with a rating and or review through your podcast medium of choice. Thanks for tuning in, and may the Force and RMG be with you.